Rebecca. Becca. Becca. What? What did you do here? What's the matter? What is this? What's what? A television. What is this? The Discovery Channel. The tornado program. You said you wanted to watch it? I recorded it for you. Why? For Christ's sakes. What's the matter? It's Danny's tape. No. You recorded over Danny's tape. No. Pride and Prejudice was on there. We were watching it last night. I switched them. What? I watched Danny's tape later after you went to bed. Why didn't you take it out of the machine? Why didn't you check to see what was in there? I assumed it was the TV tape. Jesus, Becca. It was one of the baby videos? It was the most recent, the long one. The park was on it, and Mexico, How was I supposed to know Christmas. you snuck down here? I thought it was the TV tape. It wasn't. I know, Howie. So it's gone, the whole thing. Sorry. It's the only copy, Becca. Well, I didn't do it on purpose. Are you sure? What is that supposed to mean? I think I recorded over Danny's tape on purpose? I don't know. I should have taken it out. Then why would I deliberately record over it? I don't know. Why would I? You took Danny's paintings off the fridge. Danny's paintings. I saved them. Put them in plastic. And, sh and shove them in a box. For safekeeping. Okay. I didn't throw the paintings out. I know you didn't. You think I didn't want that tape? I don't. Of course you did. Obviously it wasn't on purpose, but... What? Maybe subconsciously? Subconsciously? Is that what they're telling you in group? How I'm doing things subconsciously? <sighs> You're trying to get rid of him. I'm sorry, but that's just how it feels to me sometimes. Every day, it's something else. It feels like you're trying to get rid of any evidence he was ever here. I didn't know the tape was in there. It's not just the tape. I'm not talking about just the tape. And the paintings are downstairs in a box. You can go look at them whenever you want to. The clothes. His shoes. We don't need that you're stuff. You're wanting no, to we... sell the house. We talked about. Taz. Sending Taz to your mother's. There was a lot going on, Howie. We couldn't also take care of a dog. I was fine with the dog. I was the one well, walking Well, he got him. underfoot. And he was a reminder. Yes. So what? I wanted one less thing around here to remind me. Well, if I hadn't bought the dog. Well, if I hadn't run inside to answer the phone or... Or if I had latched the gate. I left the gate unlatched. I didn't check it. Not even the dogs. I know that. Dogs chase squirrels, boys chase dogs. Are you telling me or are you telling yourself? You got rid of him. Right. Like I got rid of the tape. That's I get I'm it. I'm not talking about the tape. It's not just the tape, Becca. I'm talking about Taz and the paintings and the clothes and it's everything. You have to stop erasing him. You have to stop it. You have to stop. Do you really not know me, Howie? Do you really not know how utterly impossible that would be to erase him? No matter how many things I give to charity, how many art projects I box up, do you really think I don't see him every second of every day? And okay, trying to make things a little easier on myself by hiding some of the photos and giving away the clothes, but that does not mean I'm trying to erase him. Forever, I'm sure. Like everything else I could have prevented but did it. That's not what I want, Beck. It's not what I'm talking about. No, because it feels like it is. It feels like I don't feel bad enough for you. I'm not 40 
boarding it up for you. <laughs> We're boarding it the right way. But let me tell you, Howie, I am boarding just as much as you are. My grief is just as real and awful as you. I know that. You're not in a better place than I am. You're just in a different place. And it sucks that we can't be here for each other right now. It's just the way it is. His stuff is all we have left. That's all I'm saying. And every bit of it you get rid of. I understand that. I can't let go of it. I understand that, Howie. Do you?